para sa recorded lecture na ito, ang mga most essential learning competencies na ating susubukang maabot, makamit, ay ang mga sumusunod. Natutukoy ang mga isyong kaugnay sa kawalan ng paggalang sa katotohanan at nasusuri ang mga isyong may kinalaman sa kawalan ng paggalang sa katotohanan. <clears throat> For the information of everyone, pag-iisahin natin or pagsasamahin natin or we will combine these competencies because they are connected. So, pag na-identify na natin, natukoy na natin yung mga issue, the next thing to do is suriin ang mga issue ito. Now, before we can do this, there are other concepts that we need to learn. Kaya nga, ang ating learning objective number one for this recorded lecture is this. Na ipapaliwanag ang konsepto ng katotohanan, truth, kasinungalingan or lies, sikreto or secrets, mental reservation, at principle of confidentiality. So, hahatiin natin ang mga video lessons na to batay sa mga konsepto na ating pag-uusapan. Let us define what truth is. Truth is the correspondence between the reality and our thoughts, words, and deeds. Now, these are the important words in this definition. First is correspondence, second, reality, and third, our thoughts, words, and deeds. Ano yung correspondence? Pag sinabi natin may correspondence, ibig sabihin nito ay may equivalence or similarity or tugma, sakto, may pagkakaugnay. Alin ang dapat magkaugnay? Reality or yung katotohanan? And ano yung iniisip natin? Ano yung ating sinasalita? Ano yung ating binibigkas? At ano yung ating ginagawa? So ang may measure the reality or katotohanan. Dapat tugma ang katotohanan sa ating thoughts, iniisip, words, mga salita, and deeds. Now, para mas maintindihan natin, I would, I would like to give you some examples. Okay. So, the fact is that the world is round or spherical. Now, kapag sinabi kong the earth is not flat, there is correspondence between the reality, okay, the established reality, and the words that I speak. So, if there is correspondence between the reality or the fact and with my words, then what I am speaking, then what I am telling is the truth. Merong pagkakatulad. There is similar, similarity. There is resemblance or semblance or there is equivalence next fact the reality i am not rich and therefore dahil hindi ako rich hindi ako mayaman i will not be able to party in this case there is correspondence between the reality and the way i live my life so Sa madaling salita, kapag sinabi natin katotohanan, mayroon tayong criteria and that is the reality. Okay? And then, if the reality matches our words, our deeds, our thoughts, then that is the truth. Or, nabubuhay tayo sa katotohanan. Bakit nga ba hinahanap ng tao ang katotohanan? So, simple lang ang aking kasagutan sa tanong na ito. Sa mga naunang lessons natin sa edukasyon sa pagkapakataon 10 na natutunan natin na ang tao pala ay may iba't ibang faculties. Okay? Ang tao ay mayroong intellect and free will. And in relation to our topic, that which is mga issue may kinalaman sa katotohanan, we are concerned. Well, this is the concern of the intellect. Why? 
because the object of the intellect is truth. So, naaakit yung ating kaisipan, yung ating pag-iisip, o yung ating isip sa katotohanan lamang. That is the reason, I think, bakit ayaw natin sa mga fake news. Bakit ayaw natin sa mga fake na tao. Simple lang yung kasagutan. It is because our intellect is only attracted to truth.